Live from Austin, where Sheila's and Karen's write Heaton and Offerman slash fic on their Quim jets. It's going to be a great night. Now, honestly, I, I think I just knocked that first paragraph out of the park. Yeah. So here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, oh Justin, how oh, I've missed you. Oh my God! Thank Christ, we're all here. So good. I'm so, so good glad about it. This is a great time. Uh, listen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I I I'm afraid to let go of your hand. You don't be afraid. Well, I'm letting go. Once I I'm let letting go, go. No. Once I let go of I'm your hand, go. I have I'm to just say. Letting go. I I have to say the okay. the next. Regrip to on my hand. Yeah. It's, as long as we're shaking, oh fuck. Okay, look. All right, look. Uh, you pooped, right? Yeah. Uh, you pee, right? Uh, in my life? Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> Probably done both. Now they think about it, right? I uh, walked in at the same time. Okay. Uh, I'm pooping. I'm peeing at the same damn time. <laughs> Sometimes you poop sitting down. In fact, most usually often. you poop sitting down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, usually. Now that I think about it, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 but, really, only in dire emergencies are you uh, are you pooping standing yeah. up. But 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 peeing, uh, in general, yeah, mm, either or dealer's choice. Right. Okay. But usually standing. Sometimes you got to do both. Yep. Mm -hmm. Around the same time. Yep. Yep. Do you ever you ever poop first, clean everything up, and then stand up, and then pee on your poop? <laughs> so you're already done. And by, when you say clean everything up, yeah, you, you don't you, mean you, flush the toilet because <laughs> the poop's still there. You know what? I'm I'm I regret bringing this up. <laughs> this was your As genius the opener. idea. As the opener. I mean, I may have just pooped. And then what happened? I cleaned uh, everything up, no. but didn't flush the toilet. Well, I mean, it's it's behind you, and yeah, you know, sure. But then you so you stood up, up to take a gander, and well, I, I, then you're a you're gander. Gonna... Admit you're a gander. Oh yeah, I, I mean too. I'm too curious. Yeah, you know what? Hold on, side jag. Yeah, uh, uh, I, oh. I I think that's healthy, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. You're you're examining all the evidence. Well, I I will it's say it's the CSI of biology. All right, so for real. This is this is actually, finally finally uh, there, after 12 14 years there, there 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 came a point that I was afraid that if Bryce were to ever leave our little uh, uh traveling band of merrymakers that there would be a tweet thread of the horrors that he has seen amongst <laughs> our ranks and and one, one of them, them one of them would, would have been begins. at Justin R. Young for weeks would not stop bringing up apropos of nothing what his shits were like it's to the point now where when I have an interesting shit I get the inclination to text you about it and I would love it because yeah. it would make it a two way street anyway I'm fascinated by my own poop because I do believe it gives me a window into my own health. Correct. And I feel pride when I have good poops. And I so, I, uh, I feel uh, bad when I have bad poop. We are we are on the same page. Yes. Always look before you flush. Oh God. I mean, almost immediately upon it leaving the vessel. I'm I'm taking a little beep. <laughs> New page. Yeah. Uh is there any reason after looking before you flush that you shouldn't? Eat all over it. Yeah, that's fucked up. It's fucked up. You, what you did, what I did is normal. What you're doing is fucked up. I mean, first of all, I'm asking a totally hypothetical. Yeah, what you did just now <laughs> is just aerosolize I mean, just, a bunch of poop. I, I, uh, I mean, I'm just saying, like, yeah. like, uh, what are you saying? What is he saying? I peed on my poop. Oh my god. <laughs> That means you held your pee while you pooped. No, I wasn't holding anything. It, it, it just, uh, it turns out that I had to pee after I wrapped up the pooping. Yeah. And you quote unquote cleaned everything up. Because <laughs> you, you didn't hit the, what? that would be what I would, when I said I cleaned up my poop, I would, I would include that the poop went away. All right. All right. What? So we're here now. Uh, yeah. Justin. Do you know that in my entire life, 
you are the very first person that I've had a serious conversation with that was interrupted midway as you flushed the toilet, and I realized to my horror that you were shitting during the conversation. I would say about 25% of all my phone conversations. <laughs> <laughs> If you have if you have talked to me more than three times on the phone, almost assuredly by statistics, I have been at and some point evacuating some part of my body. Weirdly, I was more upset because I had been in that bathroom, and so I knew where you were. <laughs> like I don't know, man. Now I have a lot of bathrooms. Uh, well, and now now yeah. I never know, and now I'm happier know. with yeah, it. Right? Yeah. But at this time, you were definitely. I only had one bathroom in a storage unit in <laughs> South Florida. <laughs> Bryce, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's uh, try Jesus to. Jesus Christ. Let's try to follow that up. Uh... Brett's Mardi Gras. <laughs> Is there royalty-free Zydeco that we can be playing throughout all of this? If we could find anything by we'll the, the band, uh, uh, we don't get but, we yeah, don't get to be choosing a, a, any, anything by the band. This is legal to play online. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Probably not. So what's oh, that? What's going on with the Marty's? Uh, uh, Marty's Why don't I, I come up? Zydeco, Zydeco. He, he, he probably never peed on his He's food. coming up for the show. Zydeco, Zydeco. Brad Weaver's going to give us a Mardi Gras. Like I always pee on my food. Oh. Uh, uh, happy wait, Mardi Gras, wait, everybody. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Was <laughs> okay, that the I, I, royalty I free Zydeco? This is Roy Williams, Heaven in New Orleans. That ain't Zydeco. Nope. <laughs> no, I think it is. I, I, I. You think it is? Because it's not. Because it's not. <laughs> Just for. Just to break it down, there's got a. There should be a fiddle in there. There should be a uh, washboard. A washboard. There, yep. There Turns should up. be someone just going crazy on the drum. Well, but the bar here, a bad, 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 a So last week. <laughs> Uh, it, it was discovered that uh, Justin didn't really know a lot about Mardi Gras. And, I don't know shit about it, man. And seeing how I'm uh, Cajun and yep. from Lafayette, Louisiana, uh, I decided to Educate. do something about it. Educate me. Uh, it all started by going to Lafayette a couple of weeks ago to attend some of the uh, joyous parades mm -hmm. and balls and such. If it weren't for a violation of Twitch TOS, I would flash a nip so much right now for one of them. Funny babies. you should say that. You yeah. should say that because uh, 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 going to Mardi Gras in not wow, New Orleans. what happened to your voice? Yeah, that's right. You suddenly well, that's going to Mardi I, Gras. Let me Mardi tell you, Gras. what's really funny is <laughs> More like it Mardi only comes Gras, out. It only right? comes out when I'm hanging around my cousins, mm. or mm. when I start getting mad. No, then I go, "Make you better go sit down over there." Which one's happening right now? I don't know. The you're on you're talking right now. <laughs> Don't make him shave his head. <laughs> yeah, I will shave he my head. He will put you right I in will your place. shave my head. Uh, so I uh, went out. Well, no, the difference is uh, uh, in Lafayette and places like that, uh, you're not going to see a lot of nips. titties. You're not going to see that. No. Some you might, but n most likely not. New Orleans is really known maybe, for maybe, the titties yeah. because... People not from New Orleans go to Mardi Gras. So those to titties, show their titties, those titties that you're seeing, they're like from Akron. So like, I yeah. mean, that's really yeah. what's so going in, on. In, 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 in Lafayette, it's like, you know, a, a, a grandmother, very it's, matronly it, shows. It's a family. It's yeah, a fam family affair. Mardi Gras is actually a family religious holiday. Well, yeah. I, knew, I knew it had, or if we're, we're going to be serious, like I, I knew it had a religious underpinning, right? Because it, yes. it's connected to Lent. Yes. It is the day before Ash Wednesday, which is the beginning of Lent. Yeah. And so what you're doing basically is getting whatever you need to get out of your system. Get your ya -ya's out. So, exactly. It's being, yeah. it's, it's, uh, nowadays we celebrate this as. Oh, damn. Oh, I didn't even you. have to you flash answered, You answered correctly. Now we celebrate this as New Year's Eve before dry January, <laughs> yes. where you get your ya ya. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have some gumbo. Secular, and then secular yeah. uh, Mardi Gras. Yep, yep. So, uh, so I went uh, two weeks ago to, which is the beginning of 
of the Mardi Gras parades and all of that. Can, you know, before we get into the the X's and O's here, yes. What are the religious underpinnings for Mardi Gras? Like, like is there like like a, a an understanding of the Bible where it's like, and then Jesus was like, hey, hold on, hold on. Dog. Hey, 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 hey. no, 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 Justin, no, no. we did Mona B, let's no. get it loose. No, it Jesus is, in his it robe is, with two fingers, is, walking well, like Ric Flair, like. <laughs> so you know, like carnival, yeah, that's connected too. It it's is all, the same thing, it's right? It's pretty much yeah. the same thing. I mean, first of all, we've done two podcasts. One was about Lent, the other was about carnival. I think we're the experts. Yeah. I think okay. So, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that is. All right. Well, here I, we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing that you need to know uh, is first thing you need to know is that when you go to these uh, the parades and stuff. Uh, you line up and you have trash thrown at you, basically. Why? Why? Well, Why? This, is, this would be some of the trash. Because really, the way it works is this is like the most precious thing until about 10 minutes after you've gone. Yeah. And then suddenly you're like, yeah. This the hell am I going to do with all these beads? Right. So. The what way am I, works, community theater? <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, oh, uh, my God. Uh, I, I, shots I, fired, I, brother. I, I do remember in I'm trying to think I was the grade, only place I would imagine that a bunch <laughs> of beads would be worth it. Uh, I do remember my mom when I was in second grade explaining, listen, if you are ever on the street and a parade is happening mm -hmm. and they're throwing coins, yes. don't, don't reach down with your hands, stomp them with your feet. Then they're yours and you can look around and make sure nobody's going to take them from you. Then pick them up. I guarantee you that Th this was like she was explaining stranger danger yeah. to me. I time. guarantee you, if you're in Mardi Gras in New Orleans or Galveston or Austin, if anything hits the street, do not pick it up. No. You are not going to like what what's coating all of that stuff. You're and and, to and catch it, and and your yeah. hands going to get run over by a drifting car. That's true, also. So uh, local <laughs> no, jokes. That's so, I, I too subscribe to <laughs> slash. I'm going to try Austin. to break this down really quickly. The way it works is there's multiple parades that go on, and they're put on by crews. Okay. Crews are organizations of people that get together, and then they throw the parties, and they raise money, and they do all kinds all right, of so stuff. So do you need one crew per float? Uh, yes. Uh, and Or you can have a very large crew that just that does That has the whole multiple parade. floats or the entire yes. parade. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. The, the ones that I went to were different ones. So the first one that I went to was called Crew de Canai. Okay. And Kanai means crazy, like you're a crazy person. The so crazy crew. Maybe Maybe y'all can learn a couple of uh, Cajun uh, oh, phrases yeah. really quickly. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. the, one that, uh -huh. the one that everybody knows is, Obama. is, is, is Lazé Bon Ton Roulé. Uh huh. That's and the what one that everybody mean? knows. What does that mean? Do you know what it means? It means we're at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Indeed. <laughs> exactly. It means, why what? is this gator talking? <laughs> <laughs> what it means is let the good times roll. Uh -huh. Yes. Lazé Bon Ton Roulé. Here's another one that's a big Cajun phrase, which is uh, uh, lash pas la patate. Oh, classic. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. an idiot wouldn't. Right. Only a total that dipshit. Palette, that, you're... that palate is too small. Man, it, I'd hate to be the close. person. I'd hate to be the dipshit who doesn't know what that means that you're about to call on right now. So the, the, the meaning is don't give up. Right. Oh, that's but, inspiring. But what it actually means is don't drop the potato. What? Yep. Yeah, that's true. Sounds like a it sounds like a Dave Matthews bait yeah. alert. <laughs> don't drop the potato. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> this sing your yeah. fraternity. <laughs> I own so your at, mind. at the parades when you go, like the first one I went to is Crew de Canai, and that was really great because it's all artistic organizations and they actually made all of their the stuff that they were passing. That they were throwing out. Oh, wow. So it was all handmade. That Not in necessarily. By, so here's the thing children. that you need to know, that if you're going to want to get stuff from the crowd, you don't flash the titties. Oh, Only people from Akron do that. Flash them titties. Uh, yeah. uh, what you say is, hey, mister, throw me something good. Really? Well, yeah. Do you, but do you have to do it in a Cajun accent? Well, it's more, it's more like, you know what? hey, mister. Is it like that's the way it works? Yeah. So I got most of my uh, beads from uh, the next day going to the Crew de Chien, which is the dogs, 
Chien is dog. Chien? Chien. Chien. Yeah. Chien. Chien. Yeah, I know. So there's a lot of nasal stuff yeah. that happens. Really? Yeah, a lot of cocaine. Cru de chien? Yeah, cru de chien. Chien. Yeah. There it is. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. That does mean dog. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> and it was great because it started out with the FBI or the Sheriff's Department having drug sniffing dogs at the beginning. And I was telling them, you shouldn't. I'm like, I'm cool. You don't need the dog to come over here. Yeah. And what was great was uh, McGruff. The crime dog was there. Really? Uh, hold on. Yeah, real, there you go. Uh, look, uh, real real quick. Uh, dogs only speak a certain language of noses. Um, sure. It seems to me like if I was the cops, I would tell everybody that they're drug sniffing dogs, but they'd actually be bomb sniffing dogs. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Or cancer sniffing uh, dogs. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> or, or infected sniffing dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But McGruff was there, and it was great to see that they're normalizing furries. So I was really happy. So wait, about so that. is McGruff even still a thing? Yeah, well, he, there I were, mean, he was at he was, he at was Mardi Gras. Maybe he's just hanging out. That just could have been some shit they got at the thrift store, though. Well, possibly. Quite a question. Uh, McGruff is not a crime solving dog. No, he's just a crime, crime dog. dog. He is a crime dog, but he looks like an old detective. Yeah. He's like Carl Elliot Mal- Ness. Malden. He's yeah. Right? Columbo. Yeah. yeah, he's Columbo. Wait, no, he's Carl Malden. You think I feel so? like we need somebody even more old-fashioned than any of us. <laughs> so he's in. Andrew he's Heaton in. Was he's here. in, he's he's in, in the, the trench coat. So he's in the parade. So what was great was you know I had I ended up standing next to a family, uh, which is great because there was two little girls, nice girls. And they did, and I got all the overflow. So they were flashing tit. They were flashing tit. I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. That yeah. was weird because I was like, okay, uh, no. But uh, they were also so, weird that, like, you said nice girls. Some nice young ladies. Yeah, that's no, just, I don't know. Like, okay. drunk girls. Or, or they weren't drunk. They weren't. No, they were like 11 years old. So what? why did you. <laughs> wait. I know. Let me just sit. say. The, let this sit right there. Shut up. Well, I mean, there are dogs coming by. This is where the dogs. There's were. dogs coming by. Yes, and parents with their children, and the eleven-year-old girls are yes. pulling up their shirts. No, they weren't. I was saying because I told you they don't do. They're not from Akron, so they weren't flashing. No, kids. I was just kidding. I was agreeing with you just to be. All right, Brian, get back. Okay, up. come on, come on, get back, back up. Come on back. So, and what they were saying was, what were they saying? Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Give me something, something nice. Good. Whatever. Hey. <laughs> you you uh, fucked it up. Rice, you said nice rice, instead of good. You... Give it to Jeff. Jeff will give it to me. Thanks. Okay. There you go. So, so they were saying, so they were saying that, and uh, stuff was coming our, our way, and it was great. It was really yeah. nice with dogs and all of that. And at one point, could you? Could you? Well, no, I can just do this. So while I was there, uh, uh, there was one car with uh, 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 some people that came through, and one of the ladies was, or was a, a, a young lady, was pointing at people, going, "Are you a dog owner?" And they're like, "Yeah," and she would throw stuff to them. See, okay. like, "Are you a dog owner?" Yeah, throw stuff to them. Yeah, and then with me, were they were they flashing teats? No, they were not. <laughs> But, That's a dog joke. But so then she turns, she points sorry, at me. Sorry, 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 a bitch joke. She said, uh, mm. "Just saying." See, I, I feel like I you we were would doing get, like, a comedy you, show. You would get like double rations if you said, uh, "I'm not a dog owner. I'm a companion." Yes, that's then right. all of a sudden uh, it would be like yeah, a but. But yeah. she pointed to yeah. me and said, "Are you a dog owner?" And I said, "Yes." And so she she went to throw stuff out the window of the car that she was at, but it happened to catch. Yeah. And and so it ended up hitting the ground just like, oh, yeah, right, yeah. And and like this young lady was like your daughter's age, Josie's. Age. I I I am. And I'm... so what it what seared in my memory is like Josie going to me, "Hey, are you a dog owner?" And I said yes. And then she went, <laughs> like that. so just that throwing it on the ground as hard as just, she could and yeah just eye contact yeah. as she continues pretty down the road yeah yeah <laughs> you'd be like uh, that tracks ice, that tracks. ice cream association you like rocky road fuck you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah out so that was a great time uh we went and then later on was the rio 
uh, uh, the the next night was the Rio. What is the Rio? Well, I mean, it's basically I mean, it's there. the All Suites Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, <laughs> <That's> just like, <laughs> up the road. I, I, I was gonna go with Dancing <laughs> in the Sand, but go ahead. <laughs> so this was a night parade, which uh, they had all kinds of fun stuff going on. Dancers. They had people on bicycles, like like tricked out bicycles oh. and uh, all kinds of, they threw out. And one of the things that was really cool with them was they were throwing out maracas, like handmade maracas, like each float would hand out to specific people one. And then they were also throwing out uh, ones with medallions on them. And on the medallions, you would, if you turned it over, one of them had a trip to Rio for next year. Oh damn! Yeah, damn. And so it was good. Rio, time. the Everybody... All Suites Hotel and Casino. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's there in beautiful it, Las that's Vegas. Right. That's right. And so it was a it was a wonderful time, and it's really the first time that I got to go as an adult because when I went, I was like a kid going, and things were a lot different back then. You saw more titties. <laughs> <laughs> Just I mean, you were at, smaller, at you know, 11 years, they were out, way yeah. a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. A lot no, bigger. I mean, it was fun. and But even then, I knew something was weird because, like, they had all the different floats. And then yeah. here comes through, and you're like, here comes King and Queen Sugar uh, coming through. And that was neat. Big uh, Sugar. They come in represent. the marching band. And then right behind was, here comes King and Queen Brown Sugar coming through. And I was like, I... There, oh, there was like a racial segregation. Oh, oh it's still there's there's still, there's still like that. like they're, they're in they're in separate divisions. Right, <laughs> the king and well, queen. I mean, it, it it seems more integrated now. And in fact, in New Orleans in 1992 was when they said your stuff has to be everything's got to be the same. Although I bet you, if I were like like in the running, like you kind of want more options. Yes, to win. Yes, I'll bet you the people who were actually doing it were like ah. Maybe next year. Maybe so, next year we can achieve racial harmony. And and I just also like to say, so that's what I did. I got to go see bands, hang out with my cousin, went to house parties. Good time. Just a great time. Uh, and usually on Mardi Gras, I will have a boil crawfish. I'll go have boil crawfish. Mm -hmm. And there uh, it is again. He's doing the thing with boil his crawfish. voice. Boil crawfish. And He's I mad also at us. Yes. A king cake. So what the hell is a king cake? You've had a king you cake You legitimately here. have never heard of this. I've never heard of a king cake. No. Okay. So I, and let me just say, uh, uh, as hedonistic as South Florida is, it has little to no Cajun presence. So, right. like, there is no element of this, of, of this, of this uh, tradition. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the room, raise your hand if you know what a king cake is or what the one, two. Nope, nope. Okay. So we're about half and half. All right. All right. All right. Good. Good. So yeah, so a, uh, a a king cake is just a a nice pastry that ha usually has some sort of uh, uh, fruit or uh, cream or it's just a good pastry with the icing on it. Okay, and it has three types of icing on it, which is gold, gr uh, green, and purple, which signify the three kings ah. that come visit the Christ Child. Which, which one, is weird. Which one is gold? I don't. Probably the one who brought gold. Yeah, the guy yeah. who brought gold. Because Frankincense is purple. Yeah. I think it was a little Yorkie. And Myrrh. Myrrh is, Myrrh is the other one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, which we I found, actually, my friend Monica, who's been here, she was confused by that because she goes, wait, so they're serving this on Mardi Gras? And she goes, and I said, yeah. And she goes, but not the Feast of Epiphany, which happens earlier. Oh, Christ. It's yeah, it, fucking, I, I still Literally. I still, <laughs> yes. I still don't know what Lent is. Yes. It's, it's fine. Uh, Lent is where you give up. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. I, I forty days and forty nights time. before when Jesus goes to the desert. Oh, okay. yeah, what, that's what happened. So we're doing it too. You that give something faithful up. trip. The, the so, <laughs> that so faithful cake. road trip. <laughs> yes. You remember that classic song? By it was a three-hour tour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's that classic uh -huh. song by the band America. Yeah, who wrote. Their biggest hit was yep. Horse With No Name. Uh -huh. Yes. But then they did a parody of their own song yep. about Jesus uh -huh. giving things up for 40 days and yep. 40 nights. How did that go, Brett? Well, I've been to a manger on a horse with no name, and I was stuck in the desert just the same. You see, my name is Jesus, and I'm going to be 
uh, uh, tempted by the devil, though he's really kite stupid, and I'll be okay in the end. <laughs> la, 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 yeah. La, All right, yeah, no, the la, original la. was better. Turns out the original <laughs> was better. I can't believe I had that the in my The original pocket. was I better. I, I, I was wait, wait, so, so can we get this king cake? Yeah. How does this happen? So the king cake happens. Oh, no, like, king, king cake looks like a big old donut. Yeah, it's a big old donut. We have a king cake here. It looks beautiful. No, no, no. Nope. Uh, they're they're handling right, Brett, the cake. Brett is getting the king cake all here. Right, all right. We are flashing is, it here for our Twitch. This is if you've ever seen the movie our The Twitch Manhattan audience. Project. This, this is the, like when they the try titties, to defuse the nuclear the bomb. And, and you and you made this? No, I did not. Oh, you got a king I, cake. I got it and uh uh and Why now, does it look like a big old Papa John's baguette in a circle? Because it's a big old Papa John's baguette in a circle. Yeah, all right, well here, can you can you slice me up a yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. slice here? I'm going to eat it unprofessionally on the air. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Also, I, I don't think you told him the big old secret. Which big old? No, I'm not going to tell the big old secret. He knows I, how to keep a secret. Well, do you want me to, you want me to tell no, the secret? No, no, no. You know what? I don't. No, no, no. Let me eat I this cake, like... and then I'll, I'll find out that it's something poison. <laughs> no. I mean, just... Yeah, it uh, is poison. It, it, it's, only, it's only... Foreshadowing. Anybody it's only, it's only made, it's only oh, made yeah. to uh, thin the herd of the disbelievers. <laughs> These are some big, some big slices, Brett. Jesus can you, can you Can you blame more of that Zydeco, Bryce? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you say that Zydeco? <laughs> that Zydeco. Here we go. This is the traditional Zydeco. Yeah. <laughs> so, the sound of the bayou. <laughs> Let it wasp over your head. That's right, it's wasping. Did you, say, did you say wasp? Wasp. Wasp. I don't know that there'd be more sense. Nope. Uh, <laughs> should have been waft. <laughs> should have been waft. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks this like is a, okay. a cinnamon pastry. Freeze. Oh. It's, it's, it's got a cinnamon and cream cheese inside. Welcome to There you go. It's good with coffee. Oh, he just takes, the a, pie. He takes a bite. Oh, big old. Yeah. Big old. yeah. It's like a big old coffee just, cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why don't you go ahead and Bill Murray just all that? Just no, no. All that. So, so we have to talk. So here's the hour. Let me, let me add on a, in the king cakes, and I did not put it in there. Uh, there is a little baby plastic, a plastic baby. In a, what, the, what? <laughs> There's a plastic baby somewhere in that cake. <laughs> a rather <laughs> baby. Yeah. The little plastic baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's right. Wait, right, a big old king cake. Because, you know, hold the on, three kings on, are hold coming. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Brett. Brett. I love the blood of the yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Brett, hey, Brett, God, you sound like my uncle dog. now. You sound just like my uncle. Brett, why, why is there a plastic baby in a cake? Because the, the way it works, it's a stupid, weird bet that people do. You hear do. that, Christ? Yep. You know what, JC? I think you got it wrong on this one. But uh, the, the baby's in there is if you're... The rights to whoever gets the slice of cake with the baby in it, then the next time has to buy... They have to bring the king cake. Oh! Now, the thing that so sucks about it is if you, don't, you. if you don't tell anybody about it, then all you're doing is... Be, it's a grift. It's a pyramid scheme. It's yeah. a choking hazard. It's a choking hazard. Now, How in, in, cheap do you have I, to be I will say in to France, realize you have the baby yeah. and they just decide to just, swallow that's it. so I'm that you're not a, on the hook? And yeah. they never found the baby. Okay, I'm going to get but, it. But in, in the, the French version, like actual France version, it's a cake that's just like a regular... Uh, a type of cake, and they put a red bean in it instead oh, of a plastic baby. Is that That's safer? Plastic baby. Yeah, because is, it, is this a fair thing about New Orleans specifically that like there is just this kind of weird grift culture? Yes. There's like the only the only place that I've ever known where the homeless are like trying to trick you with riddles. That's right. Is New Orleans? No, no, it happened in Austin to me on Sixth Street. Did it? Yeah. Were they Cajun? Maybe. I don't we're know. We're talking about... Okay. <laughs> Brian is housing this fucking king. He cake. really is going to town on it. He's going to town like it's a gift receipt and he doesn't need it. Shapow! <laughs> 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 Shapow! Got it right in the ass. Uh, well, thank you for the, ba thank you for the, for the baby king. Thank you for the baby. No. Um, Brian yeah. is now vomiting oh, the no. king cake. Right. He is... Thanks, hey, Brian. Hey, why don't, why don't you pee on it? 
<laughs> Close the door. God, he is. Close the door. Gross. Ugh. Wow, he that's has, not... He has Thank joked you. up the king cake, and he is now peeing, <laughs> now on, peeing on the on remnants it. of it. Jeff... Uh, Jeff just closed the door, trying to be very yeah, helpful, and I don't think he realized the light was not on in that bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> no, I, I, I was told I poured the beer out. Oh, okay. It's a little, a little, a little bit of foley work. A little foley. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, a little, 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 little inside the actor studio. <laughs> Weirdest thing, though, there was a baby floating around. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! Everybody, a big round of applause for yeah! Brad. Yeah! All right. Yeah. Good, good, good. I feel, uh, Brian, I feel like we're too American. Topic? Our next topic. Scenes from a Florida wedding. I went to my friend's wedding in Florida. Congratulations to Anthony and Lindsay, the happy couple. It was an amazing ceremony. Three things happened. Mm. Here's the first. Actually, I'll, I'll go in reverse order because they're funnier. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the happy couple on yeah. the way in. A very Florida matching songs to welcome them in. And then they immediately went into their first dance. The song on the way in, Flo Rida's My House. <laughs> welcome to my house. Play that music so loud. And then what was supposed to be immediately their first song... I forget who sings it. Our house. Our house uh, uh, is a oh, very, very, very fine house. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, are you sure it's not the other one? The Our House in the Middle of the Street by Madness? I think you're thinking no. of Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. The, 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 Our the house two is cats very fine. down in the yard. Yeah, that's uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash. Life used to be so hard. That one. Anyway, yeah. uh, that's not what they played. The DJ played another fucking song. And I can't remember what the song was because we were all like, I knew what was supposed to be played and Anthony and Lindsay are laughing because, you know, it's their wedding. Everybody's having a good time. So they're not that upset about it. What was funny was this, was that the DJ had a transition that he would play so it wouldn't be awkward. He wasn't just crossfading one song into another. Which is the awkward way to do it. A apparently to him, he <laughs> needed something to cover for it. And so instead, he just had a extraordinarily loud multiple Star Wars laser blast <laughs> that would be between all songs. Oh, that's so it's better. a random song, and everyone's like kind of looking around, and it's a little awkward. And then, <laughs> oh, how <laughs> it's a very, very, very fine out. Bryce. Uh, uh, could you transition from that song to another one? <laughs> Uncle Owen and, uh... I wish I got it, I'd go pew, pew, pew! <laughs> <laughs> Would have been less awkward. All right, mm. fun thing number two. Uh, the officiant, I think, was on drugs. Uh, she was, uh, Clearly uh, had elevated, she uh, nodding? blood pressure. Her, she had a, a, a portable little PA system and a wireless mic, and she had the wireless mic... And it was not working, Lo almost assuredly. And the group told her, "Hey, your Bluetoothing music. Mm. I think you're. It's overriding your. You only mind. do one. Hold on. This is a live tech support by chat room. So she keeps looking at me. She doesn't know who the fuck. She doesn't know that I've done live events. She has no idea. She just keeps looking at me, and she goes, "The mic isn't working." <laughs> This is, sorry, this is literally the person who's going to marry. No, as the bride and groom are walking oh. down the aisle, or as, as, as the, 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 the bride is walking down the aisle, the groom's there with me. It is and she just keeps looking at me going, the mic isn't working. Okay. Just, just in a sideways universe, yeah. I would like to believe your response is, I got you. And she says something into the mic, and then you just repeat it really loud. <laughs> We are I really together. wish. Yo, we're gathered together. <laughs> <laughs> I do really wish I would have pulled out just from my back pocket, like Felix. Like I just, I just would have pulled out one of those nineteen fifties cheerleaders, big, <laughs> like <laughs> a megaphone. Yeah, yeah, the old, the old, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, old Megaphones. megaphones. <laughs> uh, all right. Funniest thing, and this is how you know that you're in a wedding in Florida. There we go. <laughs> The way you know you're in a wedding in Florida is we're 
in the back before everything is is uh, about to roll out and we're going to do the ceremony and everything. And so the bride and the groom, they're, they're kind of done with all the preparations. They're done with 90% of the photos. All they have to do is get married and then have a party. So they are relaxed. The you know, scotch and champagne is being poured. They're pulling out their little scratch pad. It's got item one, get married. Item two, have a and party. And everything is, everything is being scratched yeah. out. So the one person for whom was by far the most competent at the venue and she knew everything that was going on she's running down what's going to happen and she's like uh okay so we already have the photos and then we're going to have you guys go into the venue uh and she has skipped over the ceremony and somebody reminds her uh, oh wait we have to do the ceremony first they have, they have to get married she just goes ah, yeah sorry i'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> oof that's we're in a... Florida. <laughs> we're in Florida. Like, the, like, just a casual, just Ugh. a casual. I'm sorry, uh. in a professional capacity. Just a, like, like it floored me. I could not think of anything funnier than her. Just like, 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 it was as much of a business sentence as you would do in a formal letter that would have a colon instead of a comma at, at the end of your name. <laughs> Like, that is how professional just the, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm retarded. <laughs> uh, Amazing. I, I, uh, so it's, it's that far aged out now. I, I, I not on the peninsula of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It was just, it was just super cash. There we go. Scenes from a Florida wedding. Huzzah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like we should bring in some international flavor. Um, uh, 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 Brett, you want to come back up? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, joining us for tonight, Andrew Heaton hey! of the Political hey! Orphanage. He's from Scotland. No, he is uh, coming and, back home. And, and, from and, and while dirty... that happens, Bryce, what's our next topic? Our next topic. Founders Day update. Andrew, of everything that's happened today, the thing I regret the most is that I brought you up just to ask you to please make room for Annalisa, who's going to talk to us. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, QB1 over here. Uh, the point guard of the show, Brian Rushman. Annalisa, come on up. Come on up. Annalisa, my name is Annalisa. Annalisa! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. Heaton's going to go in there and piss on Brian's shit. Uh, <laughs> baby in there come on there's a baby in there all right uh founder's day is how many days away from today on elisa 39 39 days away and where can people get tickets for it i knew you're gonna ask me that and i knew i was gonna forget i believe it's founders.scamstuff.com right uh yeah we're, so. we're in a super good spot right now because like uh even if nobody else signs up uh that'll make just our jobs easier <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yes. uh, but but we do have exciting tournaments planned and, <laughs> yes. and trophies and awards mm -hmm. and shows. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, you've already told people what they are, or uh, I, I told wait, you're 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 relying on Brian you, to be the secret keeper. Got that backwards. Yeah, yeah like, like you you, know, you understand the way that secrets work with Brian. You <laughs> have to tell him he'll die if yeah, he says it, so or else he'll <laughs> say them all immediately. I actually went into the Founders Discord that's just for people going to Founders Day and all that stuff and thought I was going to be real cool and be like, hey, guys, I think Brian's going <laughs> to announce who's going to be at the show tonight during Great Night. Um, then I'm like, oh, I should put the link down. So I go over to the link and it's like, oh, well, that's everybody right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Except I, it's not because there's one or two more people that are going to come. Correct. That I'm going to wait to tell people about. Oh. There are still more surprises awaiting. Yes. Why don't you tell everybody right now? <laughs> no, he'll, it's he'll, Tom he'll die. Oh. oh. <laughs> sure. But I got more. Oh. Does Brian know them? If he. If he thinks hard enough. Uh, I'll, uh, oh, yeah. the secret. The way to keep <laughs> secrets from Brian is let Brian forget the secret. Hello, my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah. Uh, we have uh, last. Uh, uh, what other news do we have? The porta potties are booked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> porta potties. Woo! So, you, uh, hey guys, we've had a lot of fun today. Yeah. Pooping and pissing <laughs> on our <laughs> shit. Poop, yeah. But some of you might want to know what that's like. Yeah. You can pee on everybody's poop. <laughs> poop on everybody's pee. Yeah, and porta little... potties are gonna be here at Founders Day. Yeah. We will not make you poop in the woods. In fact, please don't. Poop can we in the do woods. that like social media thing where like like uh, tar- take the poop and pee challenge? Well, no, no, no. Like, like uh, festivals will like slowly leak. Like like oh, this person's gonna be here. This person's gonna be here. And so we can do like one for me, one for you, mm-hmm. one for Jomo and the Possum Posse, one for Ice Cream Social, yes. one for Tom Merritt, one for the porta potties. <laughs> actually, the porta potties will be at Founders Day. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I, I, I do feel like there needs porta to be potty. a 15-second looping Instagram video of like bah, 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 porta parties. Pew, pew, pew. Certainly more than me. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. the trees. Yeah, half the trees aren't gonna make it. They well, got, they're, they got still, two they're, frozen. they're still here, but it's just their carcasses. Holy shit! And by the way, uh, and that's the reality of all of Austin. Yeah, yeah even all of the, Austin just has like uh, trees all over the place. Yeah, even the rich people haven't gotten their trees gone yet. Yeah, we are we are we are lousy with trees and drifting Hondas. Drifting? Oh, that's right, oh. the drifting Hondas. Second reference. You, that means you you got to explain. Explain it. Sideshows. I, I brought. I'm sorry. I guys. made it. I, I, I brought sideshows from Oakland. Uh, Oakland, Oakland finally leaked into Austin. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take full credit for it. Uh, but yeah, no. So if you're unfamiliar with the concept, a sideshow, uh, some people apparently call it a takeover in other parts yeah, of the country. Uh, you stop up traffic on all four ends, and then uh, people do donuts, usually in light cars. Uh, there's fireworks often people light gasoline on fire yeah. that apparently happened throughout the weekend in Austin. I, I, I had not seen it before, uh, I guess like, it, uh, but only on TV. Yeah. Uh, but nobody, I, I think I can speak for a lot of people when I say nobody would have expected that at, was it, uh, Barton Barton Springs Springs and Road Lamar and Lamar? And Lamar. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. that, that intersect, like I, I actually am a, a native Austinite. So that intersection is like, it's the Peter Pan golf intersection. Yeah. Oh, and this uh, is literally the in the middle of intersection. the intersection. Yeah. It's yeah. not like in a parking lot. It's like <laughs> in the junction. Like this is a known intersection in Austin and this is happening. Uh, they grow up a- so fast. <laughs> I don't I I wasn't too mad about it. I'm sure somebody will have like a ton of reasons why. Maybe I Peter hate Pan. It. I'm sure. Sh- so I'm Peter trying Pan? to have a mini golf course here. <laughs> That's probably the most interesting thing that mini golf course has seen in a long time. I don't know. I oh, think we've talked about that. Actually. <laughs> mm. Mm. What? Right. I was going to say something wholesome and sappy. I was going to say something even more wholesome and sappy. I was going to pee on my own shit. <laughs> God damn it. All right. All right. This show. Annalisa, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and now, for the very first time, Andrew Heaton. Andrew Heaton. Yeah. He's refusing. He doesn't want to come He's up. refusing. I think he's good. He's refusing. <laughs> All right, Bryce, next topic. All right, next topic. <laughs> Sorry. Search GPT. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, w- there's a game that we're going to play as a big tournament at yeah. the Founders Day. By the way, picnic. for audio listeners, Heaton is dressed like the architect from the Matrix sequel's <laughs> nephew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. White exactly pinstripe right. suit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Very bold tie. I had one of those <laughs> moments where I realized... Uh, that that I had crossed a threshold and, it, and nothing would be the same again. Uh, there's a game that we're going to play for our big tournament, um, uh, 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 and I momentarily was concerned. Like, wait, is this like a new game that somebody developed? I I thought it was an old game, and I searched the game, and I did search page one, annoying. Search page two, no, I didn't phrase it right. Search page three, and then I just thought I was going to talk to Chat GPT. And so I, I clicked on on that button, and I said, hey, when was this game made? And it said, long time ago. And I was just like, it like it hit me like a thunderbolt. I was just like, oh, it's all different now. Like, even if it's wrong, and I know ChatGPT is famously wrong about so many things, I would rather have 
wrong information quickly <laughs> than the tedium of like, trying to do my own hard catalog shit. Strong information, even if it might be incorrect. Correct. You'd rather have that than a, a, a dumb website that's actually for something else, but for whatever reason, the SEO meta keywords has made it the number one. Well, and in that moment, all of a sudden, everything got recontextualized, and I was just like, holy shit, search engines just give you homework. Like, it's like, yes. a, like I, I have a question. I would like an answer to a question. And it's like, Now oh. I got to sit through advertisements. Now I got to uh, sit through an eight-minute YouTube video where some 15-year-old tries to get me to subscribe. Tells me about the, I, don't, I just want to figure out how to I, use Adobe Audition. That's could, it. Could, yeah. could you be a fucking cool bro and just tell me? Uploading a television to your wall is very simple. Please my, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for everybody who watched my You'll previous You'll notice my, my wall has an interesting pattern on there my mom gave me. I don't care. I don't care about your mother. Yeah. I don't care about the wall. Just give me this stuff. <laughs> These damn zillennials are too lazy to just do regular research. Oh, I got, oh, oh I'm a zillennial and I'm lazy. You know what, Bryce? I'm going to give you this win. <laughs> like, Bryce, are you Gen Z? Are you, like, are you a different generation than us? I, I'm a millennial, no. I'm pretty sure. Are you sure. a millennial? He, a, yeah, he, he's, he's the last millennial off the roof. I'm, he, I'm, he was, like he was a... in the last helicopter before, <laughs> before, before, before yeah. the Gen Zers sacked Vietnam. I, I feel like I'm like a 50 year senior millennial. Like I'm like, the, I'm like barely there because uh, uh. I'm, too, I'm too old, but I'm not quite in the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, good thing I'm the youngest one. Yeah. That's, uh, it infuriates me that we look the same age if I don't look older than <laughs> I, I cannot I, tell oh, you how much it pisses me for, off. For the record, uh, this is the most honest and least kind way you've put it. <laughs> but <laughs> the sentiment is very, very, very real. real. The fact like, is so, like, one of my friends is like, so did you and Brian go to high school together? And I'm like, I need oh, to Oh, you quit motherfucker. <laughs> I'm about to turn 50, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I look like the uh, 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 touring manager who ripped off the Doobie Brothers of all their money. <laughs> <laughs> the Mardi Gras beads help the illusion. <laughs> they do. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're all good old die. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. Patreon.com slash. We're, we're done with the topics, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go if you want to support this very good show. Patreon.com slash great night. Doesn't forget that Annalisa needed to come up and <laughs> close you up early because you, every single week, get the Bones podcast oh. exclusive. It's so good. It is so good. We're going to start giving half of them by by like half of them away for free unless enough people subscribe here's my favorite part about this threat <laughs> is that brian is deadly serious about it. <laughs> I, I am brian is I am. deadly serious about doing it he also very much is like no we are going to make more people become patrons by annoying them by putting half of our very good podcast into the free feed because and it works. And at his most determined to make it happen will be him telling either me or Bryce to do it. Do it. <laughs> at which point, at which point we will tell him done. And it will never be done. <laughs> we're just gonna keep telling him we're doing it. He'll yep, never check. On it. He'll never know. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> you know, th this is how communism fell. <laughs> Everybody just lied and said everything's fine. Everything's Brian, great. Brian Bushwood is the Gorbachev of Great Night. Yes, the Gorbachev of Great Night. Put that on uh, my tombstone. Price, do we have a game tonight? We do have a game tonight. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys were paying attention during Brett's uh, whole Mardi Gras spiel. Oh, yes. Look, this is what I was afraid of. Because we are doing a Mardi Gras quiz today. Oh, uh, play some Zydeco. It, is this going to be one of those things where it's like <laughs> he literally told us the answers to everything and we're going to look real dumb because we don't pay I love attention? Them. Oh, Zadiko theme for the game. Today we're going to sing the Zadiko song. Yeah, we're going to play the game. Everybody singing the Zadiko song. Is Zadiko just bluegrass plus like like accordions? What? Because it seems like it's cousins with bluegrass. It is a little bluegrass theme. It's a funkier Cajun music. Nice. Okay, so it's like bluegrass plus humidity. 
Uh, yes. I like. I love Zydeco. Uh, with, oh no, with, no, no, and and uh, washboards uh, and the Wash- washboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's like more accordion, more washboard, but kind of in the same family. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Zydeco's fantastic. New Orleans yeah. is a great town. Yep. There you I go. don't care what Justin says. <laughs> Uh, so today's Mardi Gras. This is the carnival celebration celebrating carnival. Uh, today? Yep. It's Fat Tuesday, It's dog. also Pancake Tuesday, but I'm not going to say anything more. There's also it tacos. might be involved in it's, the question. It is always Taco Tuesday. It's true. Yeah. Oh. Now, while we can't be it's out Fat there. Fat Tuesday, which means I got drunk there when I was 18. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. We can't be out there in the streets of New Orleans, but we can bring the bayou to you tonight. Brian and Justin, and hey, why don't we throw an Andrew Heaton in there? Thanks. Are going to have to face off against a dangerous bayou opponent. You know him. You love him. Fresh off the great night stage, it's Brad Weaver. That's right. Oh. That's right. And with the last name like Weaver, you know I'm Cajun. <laughs> yep. That's we right. Are. <laughs> no. We are there. Uh, he's, not, he's not very angry. Oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say he's angry, but but okay, all right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I will shave my. Wait, head. what would my occasion? It'd be like Andre Hiton. Andre Hiton. Yeah, nice. I like it. Yeah, there we go. I feel like you'd be you'd be a good like we, we southern just call politician. You yeah. <laughs> now listen, <laughs> yeah, li- li- everyone's gonna get their track. We got a couple of tracks here. We, now we all we know the mayor go gets back to Mississippi. Tractor. That's what we'd say. Who, who <laughs> was who was the Louisiana governor that ran on on I'm uh, I'm the crook, not the racist? Uh, Edwards. 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 Eddie Edwards. <laughs> Eddie Edwards. <laughs> Edwin Edwards. Edwin Edwards. I'm medium honest. He, that's no, what you want from a politician in our great state. You want medium honest. That's what I am. He said I'm crooked but i'm the crooked you know yeah no he was he was an amazing an amazing southern politician bryce what's the game so i'm going to give you questions all about mardi gras uh justin andrew and brian you'll need to uh, have a consensus on what you believe the answer will be uh and you will be answering first before brett gets a chance to you if you beat brett you win the game that's how three brains against one Ah. win brett's plus also the other brains of cajun they else got jokes okay uh, here we go. <laughs> we got the first one. Southern rivalry right there. Hey, we got to put some <laughs> filet on that. Uh, nobody knows what that is. <laughs> All right, we'll do our first one here. All right, folks. Uh, we'll start with these folks. Price, Where- Price is the traffic cop who wishes cars didn't exist. <laughs> I, I, and the ones who wish they would run me over. Oh, Christ, here comes another one. Oh, boy. Where was the first official Mardi Gras celebration in the United States? Uh, number one, incorrect. It's pronounced Mardi Gras. <laughs> Mardi Gras. Well, Mardi what the Gras. first official Mardi Gras celebration? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> Is Alvis celebrating Mardi Gras this year? Wh- where? Where was the first official Mardi Gras celebration in the United States? Who so the, 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 has the, to go first? The, you no, do. no, no, no. We're together. Uh, We're together. New Orleans, Baton Rouge. These ones just no. let this strike out to me. But it's basically no. a trick question. No, no, right? no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, you know, Ma- Ma- Mardi Gras is, is, is older than time itself. Uh, okay, so no, 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 but in the U.S. Oh, wait, wait. But yeah, in the United States. So, yeah. so, so yeah. Boston. Boston. Wait, it was wait, in wait, Boston. Because Louisiana was French when it first was celebrating New Orleans. Yep. Right? So it wasn't in the United States. So it has to be someplace outside of there, unless no one celebrated it until Louisiana became an American state. Boston. I love everything you're saying. You like Boston. What about New York? No. I still Concrete have, jungle? I'm still thinking New Orleans. I'm still thinking New Orleans. <laughs> There's nothing Wait, you no, can't no, 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 do. Wait, wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. There's uh, nothing you, you can't just... do. Alicia Keys said it, including Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 look. I don't know a lot of things, but I know a lot about Mardi Gras. Yeah, okay. it's true. You go on about it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's Boston. <laughs> you think Boston? Yeah. Is this a hunch, or do you know anything that would... I mean, if I did know something, I wouldn't spoil it by telling <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> I might hold it back. <laughs> Wait to see what the chat All right, you want to know what? what? What do we think? What do we think? I'm, I'm 100% on Brian's side. I say Boston. All right. I, uh, uh, let's go Boston. Okay. Boston. Rule. New Orleans. So I'd be real angry. <laughs> New Orleans isn't even in America. Not even today. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brett, we go over to you. Where was the first official Mardi Gras celebration in the U.S.? I'm going to keep it simple. New Orleans. <laughs> Bold. Okay, he's going to say New Orleans. Wow, you're going to feel like a real dipshit if you're wrong. I may be wrong. That's fine. Wow. 
big stakes right now. You know what? Right? Let's play let's... some very tense Zydeco. <laughs> <laughs> also, me... man, the tension so thick. You can dunk, uh, cut that tension with a five-inch oh, steak don't, knife steak. You don't need okra. I'm, okay. I'm out choked on a crawdad. <laughs> I'm going to shit a plastic baby. <laughs> and then pee on it. <laughs> All right. Uh. This is why I should never trust any of you. This is like I come to you with honesty, and now you started it. You, you started, started it. this show. Okay, <laughs> we've got your answers here. Brian Heaton and Justin have said Boston. Brett mm -hmm. has said New Orleans. We were looking for Mobile, Alabama. Oh. That's no point. Okay, that's Boston. Mobile. Boston. That's close it's to Mo Boston. It's Mo no, of French. It's, it's nearby. It's hot and humid. There are crawdads. Everybody there are knows beads. that Mobile is an anagram for Boston. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It is the it's, Boston it, of Alabama. It, 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 it's basically the greater Massachusetts area. It's yeah. Wista. All, all of those Mobile. Bostonians, they, they all retire down to Mobile. Uh, uh, are, are, are we about to rely on the science machine? No. No, no one gets no the point. point. You were both just uh, wrong. Uh, we're sorry it's, about it's that. It's Mardi whoa, whoa. Gras Law. Who the fuck it's is Mardi this? Gras Law. <laughs> if you don't either get it right, right or you're then wrong. Then you're either right Mardi or you're wrong. Gras law. It is. That's just my southern just realizing that tomorrow's Lent. Eh? We got to get hammered. And eat those pancakes. <laughs> Yay, Britain. <laughs> you gonna get the uh you gonna get the ash on on the forehead? Oh my god! Yeah. I already did it last Tuesday. That's right, get ashed. Super Catholic. <laughs> One of those uh I paid my taxes over a year ago. <laughs> all right. Okay. Anyone else? Everyone? No. Okay. All right. okay. Jesus. <laughs> Are we done making comedy on this program? <laughs> Can we get back? <laughs> all right, here's the second question here. I got a good feeling about that. New Orleans requires masks to be removed at what time? I'm going to update that. New Orleans requires masks, face masks, to be removed at what time? Ask on Fauci. <laughs> on, yeah, are you referring Mardi to Long surgical masks or decorative masks? Talking about decorative facial masks. New Orleans requires face masks to be removed at what time? Oh, so so if you're it's a like a part curfew. of the part of Mardi Gras, then you can wear a mask until X amount of time. Yeah, it's like a Got curfew. You. Basically. All right. What yeah, time? Well, well, we all know this, boys. Curfew kind of gives it away. Yeah. <clears throat> so what what would be curfew in New Orleans, he oh, said? I re oh, I remember. 4 a.m. I'm thinking either midnight or 4 a.m. No, because you you want to you wanna, uh, curtail it where all the miscreants are getting wild. Sundown. 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 We, we, we all know it's sundown. 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 Yeah. Sundown. You think? Uh, so masks off, tits out. That's how it goes. Okay, so it. like, like yeah. we think like then it's 6 o'clock or so. Masks would that be, off, tits would six out. Be that's what photographs all about. Sundown. But you Final can stay answer. topless after that, right? If you want to, you don't have to put on a shirt. Can I have you pick a number for me? Sundown. Pick an pick an hour. Hold <laughs> on. Six, six o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. What wait, are you doing? Sundown on Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> you can, around, that's around fine. Just give me. I just need a number. What sunset today? Yeah. Are you asking <laughs> Chat GPT? I think yeah. he was trying to ask. Eighteen twenty-four. Eighteen twenty-four. Your Honor. Eighteen twenty-four. Round up seven o'clock. We think. No. Gotta have a consensus here. At exactly 1824. 1824. 1824, yes. Yeah. All right, 1824, they're going to say. Mike, All right, Brett, we're attention. going to go over to you here. New Orleans requires masks to re to be removed at what time? Midnight. You're saying midnight. Why do you say that? Just because. Because he knows it's it a good song a from Cats. <laughs> it's it's either midnight or dawn. The only good song from Cats. <laughs> it's either midnight or dawn, and since it has to be an exact time, I think it's midnight. Okay, there we go. We got your answers here. The stage crew said 1824. That's 624 p.m. Brett said midnight. We were looking for 6 p.m. Oh! Wow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Does Mardi Gras law <laughs> include us <laughs> in the same I think hour? they should get that point. Does it include Yo, all that? I'm just the a stage is going to get the point. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Oh, I'm in embarrassment. All right, here's another question for you. Stage, we're starting with you first. Question, what is the name of the day before Mardi Gras known as? Say it right. Oh, uh, sorry. What? what is the name of the day before Mardi Gras known as? Mardi Medium. Sk sk skinny Monday. Pre-Gras. <laughs> Foie Gras. <laughs> Foie Plagras. 
<laughs> I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to double down on four plug round. Yeah. Four <laughs> plug Marty Moore. Uh, Bra Monday. <laughs> Rick and Marty. <laughs> but the the beatening. <laughs> no? <laughs> they giving us for the beads. Any other jokes? <laughs> it's, it's, wait, it's, big, it's Big Tuesday. Wait, it's Big Tuesday. So <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Joke, I'm, joke, I'm tolerator. The... <laughs> joke tolerator, Bryce Castillo. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the 30 biggest, seconds of fucking I'm, silence in the middle of our podcast. It's so I'm, entertaining. I'm like the biggest fan of like uh, 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 industrial age. Bryce Castillo is middle manager in the comedy factory. He's like, that's it? That's all you got? You done? Are you done? Now get back to making the comedy. Squeeze the end of the tube of the joke. <laughs> what? What? We gotta get out of here. What? What? what is Monday in French? You're from a hot state. Uh, Monday in French? Monday. <laughs> Monday. It's not. It's not Lunes. That's Sunday, right? Lunes is Sunday. No, it's Lundy. Lundy. That Sunday. Don't trust or Monday? him. Monday. He's the enemy. Monday is Lundy. Yeah. So, so I think it's going to be Lundy. Gross. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So wait. All right. So so Fat Tuesday is. Today. Party garage. Yeah. Right? That is when shit happens. And then and then uh tomorrow's Lent. Which and that goes for forty days. days. That's called and forty nights. Sad. Yeah. And then but Jesus dies and then the he day comes before, back. Or though, what would you do? Okay, if you knew you were about to engage on like a forty day diet and give up all Everything awesome, and you were gonna have a bender. Well, no, no, you what, you're what, describing what's one the thing. Day you give up one thing. What's That's the what led day you before a bachelor party called Bachelor's Eve. It's 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 Marty Eve. Marty when, Eve. You, you, all you're doing is drinking electrolytes and carbo loading for the yeah. fucking. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yep. That works. That works. Well, yeah. I, do. Uh, okay. I think it's called. It's not you, Marty. It's your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Big cliffhanger. So we're gonna go with Marty Eve. Is that yep. what we're hearing? Uh, right. Or or Grow Eve. Gotta pick. <laughs> we're gonna Marty go with Marty Eve. Eve. Four, Marty four Eve. Marty yeah. Eve. Gonna be Marty Eve. Marty Eve. Brett, uh, we got the same question to you. What is the name of the day before Mardi Gras known as? I may be wrong, but I think it's Shrove Monday. Uh, Shrove Monday? Yeah. Okay. Shrove? Shrove day. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. You're going to say Shrove Monday? Yep. You're going to go with that? All right. That's not like a wacky neighbor in a but, sitcom? But I have a question. Okay. It's me. If Shrove you were, Monday. If you... If you uh, engaged in this ritual, sure, uh, and you had to give something up for, for, Lent. Lent. for Lent. Now think about it, because this is showing that you're being honest. You're you're, you're hanging out with Jesus. You're saying yeah. if you're giving something up, I'm giving something hard. Okay, so right. what would you give up? I would say mm -hmm. Jesus, fool me once, dry January. <laughs> That's right. Fool me twice. Okie doke. <laughs> I guess I'm giving up booze again. <laughs> giving up booze again. Cheese. 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 Yep. Woof. Out of three things in life, cheese, dogs, and cleavage. Yeah. And I, I can't control <laughs> the third one. No. Nope. But I can control the cheese. Yep. And I can't kill my dog. Okay. So if I'm going to do Lent, it's giving up cheese. Okay. <sighs> oh, fuck. I mean, they took two good ones. D do, do you have to give up something that's awesome? Yeah. No, no, no. It has to hurt for you. That's there, the there's idea. always fuck been the you. joke, like, I'm giving up bear meat for, for Lent. I mean, that was one that went through for a while. But, yeah, it, it, like, if you're going to get serious about it, the most serious I ever got was giving okay. up I, caffeinated I, drinks. I, all right. I got a pitch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, new I, slo I could, new, I could new slogan, new slogan. Nobody out Lent's the hub. Is this the new slogan for Mardi Gras? No stroking. <laughs> you think that their business yeah. is going to say, no don't use yep. us. Uh, no squirting. God said, don't nope. use us. No spurting, no squirting. <laughs> and, I mean, what's because spurt? Jesus was hurting. It up what's on so, that what's so Wait, what's it not between it's spurting not. and squirting? What is spurting? <laughs> Bro, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's something what's so glorious gloriously passive aggressive about this is that God is not saying you have to give this up. God goes, Oh, are you serious about this? Yeah. How serious are you? Exactly. Oh, cause I was a little here. It's a bit passive aggressive, but yeah. Jesus, he's like, 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 I went to the desert and didn't yeah, drink uh. or eat for 40 days. I, I flipped so, over some money changer got? tables and then got nailed to a cross. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> it's not a contest. It's not a contest. <laughs> I washed contest. away all of your sins. It's not a contest, but uh. I mean, a little effort. 
A little effort would just, be nice. It'd no, be nice. You know what? I'm not telling you what to do. No, and it's fine. But what no, would you do? No, give up bear meat. <laughs> give up bear meat. That's fine. I that's guess fine. that's all you can do. Hold on. I'm just going to text the Holy Ghost. <sighs> can you believe this him? Jag off. <laughs> okay, Sense. I'll give a dollar to anybody who remembers the question. Uh, what is the day before... Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras called. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what is and the answer? Was? Or Mardi Gras oh, no. I just had to know the question. Mardi Monday. You said Shrove Monday. The answer was. Uh, that's right. Uh, we were looking for. We would have looked for Lundy, Lundy Gras. Gras. Oh. Which... Did I not fucking say Lundy Which Gras? You did. Or Lunas, I said Lunas Gras, I think. Or no, you said, you Lundy said Gras, I, I fucking had it. You, you did have it. 50 cents. Uh, we'll also accept Shrove Monday, which is a relatively newer term. That's a point for Brad. Oh. Ah. Damn. But Shrove Tuesday is really the big one. We yeah. got the Shrove end Tuesday of the, right the, the, the business end of Mardi Gras law. <laughs> law. Mardi Gras law. Gras law. Gras law. Be, beware the Mardi Claw. <laughs> snap at you from a crow that surrounded by <laughs> potatoes. A little bit of some crawfish. Mm. Maybe we're gonna have some good. You're gonna give up meat for that thing for See, the now, whole. Now he meat. Sounds where where I'm us. from, we call crawfish coward lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they're Cajun, small. You huh? know what Cajuns call crawfish? Well, maybe that's all we had. We didn't have lobster. Fun lobster. Oh. that's what they called it. Passive aggressive too. The whole quote. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, what's the score? <laughs> All right, the score after three questions. It's one point for the stage, one point for Brad. Yes. All right. All right, right where we want them. That's right. Mm. We got another question here. Question. Which on-screen Batman actor was crowned King Bacchus? <laughs> Which on-screen Batman actor was crowned King Bacchus? All right, team meeting. <laughs> Adam West. What, what, Adam what, West. What? No. What, what no, the no, fuck no, no, is no. King Bacchus? Uh, it's like the head of the. It's the head. It's the king of the Mardi Gras, right? No. Is it? It's ba Bacchus, so it's like Dionysus, so it's yep. it's the god of like oh, overwhelming yeah, 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 hedonism, like, right? Like Bacchanalia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And who would be the, the most delightful person to do? It would be Adam West, the Betty White of men. Uh, counter. <laughs> <laughs> counter proposal. You don't know how true that if is. If that was the actual answer, why was it phrased carefully to not actually be a Batman? But an actor who is in Batman. Which on screen Batman actor? Okay, so it could be anybody from the Batman universe. Well, hold on, wait, wait. Uh, 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 applying here to the the questioner, could it be anybody from a Batman movie or television show, or is it a Batman? The question is, which on screen Batman actor was crowned King Bacchus? Yeah. No, 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 I think it's a Batman. Well, then. So it's got to be Adam West. It's got to be Adam West. If it's All not right, Adam fine. West, I don't want to be right. I hope it's Christian Bale. <laughs> the <laughs> most sour. And he's just like, <laughs> King back in LA. He's take, just, some, take some beads. <laughs> he's just, take some fucking beads. I don't give a shit. He's just. Uh, you, he's, want me to take, you want me to show, show me your tits? I'll throw you some beads. <laughs> Christian <laughs> Bale. Angry Christian Bale. <laughs> Is it funnier the longer I do it? Is he British? No. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wait, have you, ever, you haven't heard that him being mad no. on the on the Terminator oh, set? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you no. want me to smash your lights? You want me to? Ah, da 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 da. That's you walking through my shot. Hey. My mind is we not being like seen if you're doing that. I mean, it... I actually apologize. Sorry. I uh, you, you playing it? Stay yeah. off the <laughs> fucking set, man. For f sake. All right. What are we doing? Uh, all right, so the question was, it, yeah. which on-screen Batman actor was crowned I, King I would Bacchus? like to believe it's Adam West. I mm. think it's Keaton. I mean, if we're going, if we're going out there... Buster uh, Keaton? Yes. yes. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Are we, I, sh I, I, are we sure it's not George Clooney? Because he would could be, be George so Clooney. Classy. He'd be really Clooney. good at it. He, would, he does seem Clooney like... Clooney would be a good right, one. I'm locking it. My vote, and I don't care if I get outvoted, but my vote is Michael Keaton. I, I I I I think my vote is Clooney, which means you get to decide. I'm voting Adam West. Brett, if you want to do Adam West, it affect your team. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll switch mine to Adam West. Okay, okay. sorry, Adam Brett, West. Out. We're all on Adam West. All right, they've said Adam West. Brett, which on-screen Batman actor was crowned King Bacchus? I wish I could say uh, Dietrich Bader, but he's never been on screen as Batman. He just did the voice. 
Mm. Kevin Conroy, the well most known voice of Batman, has been on screen as Batman, but I think it's Clooney. You say George Clooney? Clooney. It's Clooney. He yeah. loves he loves New Orleans. He loves he loves New Orleans. Yeah. If there's one thing I hate more than being wrong, it's being right. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, you're not worried about that one. We really were Michael Keaton. Oh, hey! You that I'm so dirty wrong. sons of bitches. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm not sorry. It should have been Adam West. <laughs> Fuck Michael Keaton. I agree. By the way, if it's not what, Kevin Conroy, what, it should be Adam West. Why is there a King Bacchus if it's a a, so, a Catholic holiday? So uh, that is because of the cruise. There's specifically yeah, the cruise. a crew that crowns king bacchus and famously they do they tend to do celebrities and that's so. the oldest family that's the oldest uh crew yeah uh that's the one you can't get into you have to be born into it. very exclusive in fact, i i believe this year it was uh adam divine from workaholics right. and righteous gemstone for real oh, fantastic yeah. king bacchus i think i think i saw that picture on the internet all right, after four rounds, yeah, four rounds, the score is currently one to one. It's still anybody's game. We go into our final five-point round. Five points. All right, this is going to be the closest without going over, so we're going to have a winner here. Oh, excuse me, closest. Just closest, not without going over. Okay. The question is, in what year was the first Mardi Gras parade? Say it right. In what year was the first Mardi Gras parade? Oh, my Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Physically hurts me. Thank you. All right. All right, we are. All right, listen up, listen up. We got and this is the, the U.S. Uh, parade. It would be Mobile, Alabama. Guys, wait, wait, hold I, on, wait, wait. The I first Mardi Gras parade in America first. or in general? In what year was the first Mardi Gras parade in America? I'll Guys, tell you. In America. America. Bryce, in Mobile. I, I think it's Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. I, I think know. we should go first. Bryce, hey, could, what year was Adam West born? <laughs> <laughs> Not, not quite sure. We can ask Chat GPT for that. Probably one. like 1931. In what year was the first Mardi Gras parade? How is the show almost over and I still have no fucking idea what Mardi Gras is? How do you, you wait? Listening. Yeah, the whole wait. Time. I think we've learned a lot of facts it's about Mardi Gras. Yeah, you drink a lot before you go to Lent. Yeah, you drink a lot. Yeah. Michael Keaton was there. <laughs> the day yesterday was Shrove. Trove Town, mm -hmm. Dave Matthews uh, Band, Dave Trove Matthews Town, Band, da Dave Matthews Band, uh, touched a potato. Uh, Trove Town, you've got a plastic a baby in your colon, and that means that you owe somebody a you pee on your poop. Yeah, you Trove pee on your poop. Pee on poop. There are several crews. <laughs> you have to get to How Coney Island do, before the Leslies get you. <laughs> I think we learned everything about Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Okay. Mardi all right. All right. Gras. We got a lot of years to pick from. Uh, all right. Here. Maybe it'll be easier. On for size. Maybe it'll be easier if Bryce plays some Zydeco. <laughs> okay. Here Thanks. we go. Thank you, Zydeco. Please. Me meanwhile, and also <laughs> play, play, play Zydeco, but also play Christian Bale yelling at his lighting director. <laughs> okay. Maybe that will stir everything loose. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, let's just. Like try practicing how it sounds to say all of the years. A one, two, eighteen, sixty-eight. That's my good. A three. The year Adam West was born. A four. I'm just gonna Five. need that bail. I need that bail. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying to bring it to you. Just give me the bail. A year bail me seven. out. <laughs> bail me out. Eighteen, eighty, well. Oh, 80 points. Wow. Is this a... It was, a, it was a leap year, so we had a mwah in it. <laughs> Usually you don't have those, but in 18... Those, oh, she did. Those, uh, <laughs> imaginary numbers. <laughs> yeah, well, occasion math is more complex because of the lunar <laughs> calendar, Do it. You <laughs> Are you professional or not? There it is. Okay. Do I fucking walk around and rip that... No, shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do I rip <laughs> that No! Bruce. No! Don't shut me up! I'm like, anyway, that's a live broadcast from our <laughs> friends over at Nolan. That sounds like an asshole. Does, do people know about this? Yeah. 18. Yeah, Is he still working? Yeah. 71. 1871. 1871. We all agree. 1871. No. Sure. Oh, yes. 1871. 1871. 1871. They're going to say 1871. Brett, we're looking for the year of the first Mardi Gras parade. I'm going to say 1893. 
1893. What makes you think that? You know what? You devil. I'll I'll, I'll give you points for not saying 1874. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, no, just closest. It's not without going over. It's closest. It's just closest. He didn't screw us over by taking the direct over. But I I came up with the number before you did, so. Okay. All right. We got somebody inventing numbers over here. I guess the competition. (laughs) They win at any point, but uh, all right. All right, we've got your answers here. The stage has said 1871. Brett has said 1893. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. Let's go. Let's go. From our friends over at Mardi Gras, NewOrleans.com, when was the first Mardi Gras? The first Mardi Gras parade was held in New Orleans on February 24th, 1857. The stage wins! Where the Mardi Gras boy they come to down and they took old Brett Weaver down. There was a big old song and someone shed a baby in a pond. Now we all get they diabetes. They now have to buy a new cake because they just did take the title of Mardi Gras law. Title of Mardi Gras law. Uh, no they, hurricane gonna mess us up ever. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why? You know, okay. Thank you to uh, the people of New Orleans for dealing Although, with this. Although, to be fair, that's the Mardi Gras 9-11. So, yeah. like, like, he was going to say it eventually. So, I, we have, uh, uh, thank you to all the friends over in New Orleans. If you've got an idea for a game, please send it to our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Hi, Brett. So, if it's the first one was 1853, so when was the one in Mobile? They didn't do a parade. They didn't do a parade uh, in Mobile. Uh, thank you. There you go. Uh, Right. It was the crew oh, of hey, Comus. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for, for being our, our, our guru. Our, not our a very good I, I, I do a feel guru. enlightened about Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've all learned a lot. Yeah. We've grown as people, too. In yeah. fact, uh, Brett, what, what have we learned today? We've oh, learned that night. you should uh, always pee before you poo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've learned uh, that it is never any fun to vomit up a baby. Uh, we have learned that if you're going to be a dandy, stand in the middle. Yeah. And we have learned... Ain't that the truth, brother? <laughs> and we have learned that none of you can do an actual Cajun accent. Well, I may disagree with you. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is complicated. I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. Well, I'll tell you this much. You have to declare this much. It's just, it's just still a great night. Oh, shut on you, Chris. <laughs> Show me them titties. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>